So congratulations on another podium for Lewis, consecutive three times now, and also a strong P4 for George. How do you reflect on that race as a whole? I think uh, if you look at the result, uh, that's okay. Uh, third and fourth, but we're just lacking these two, three tens that we need uh, in order to be part of the part of the racing in the front. Of course, in Silverstone, we saw you take a, a sizable step forward with the upgrades. You are cautious coming into this weekend, saying that you weren't expecting it to be as much of a performance gain around this track. Do you feel that the lack of pace today it was due to the track, or do you think that it is because the upgrades maybe are not showing up as well as you initially thought they had? No, I think that that uh, track always been a bit of an annoying one for us. I mean, I love it to be here. It's my, it's my home track. Um, but uh, the car was never happy. Even in the years where we've been really dominant, sometimes somehow it wouldn't go. So we need to take that. And in terms of the upgrades, looking ahead, we have France and Hungary coming up. Are you feeling optimistic for France? The talk has been that that's a track that you will hopefully be able to excel at. But coming from the team boss, what do you think? Yeah, I think like Silverstone, it's a track that on paper should suit us a little bit more. Whether that's the case, we shall see in two weeks. And how is the atmosphere within the team? It's been a tough start to the season. Lots of work, lots of long hours, I imagine. But how is the energy within the team and the momentum now that you're getting these podiums? It's good in a way uh, you, you reset your expectations and uh, you finish third and fourth and uh, you're okay with that last year. We would have seen it as a catastrophe. So it's healthy. That's how it should be. And uh, the spirits are really high. Thank you so much for your time, Toto. Thank you. Thank you.